Hi there, Phil Pendlebury here. Hope you're doing well and having a super large day. I'm here with Cubase 11 and I want to show you the new release of East West's Opus 1.03 which introduces a new very simple way to deal with articulations uh, within your instruments. Um, articulations basically can be controlled by key commands but they've now introduced an automatic way of reading it into Cubase. So let's get on with it. All right, so here we are in uh, Cubase 11 and I'm going to just go through this very quickly. So let's start by adding an instrument track and we've selected Opus and add track. So there's Opus and we're going to load in a solo cello. We load in the key switch version and we can zoom in on this. So there's the solo cello, and let's load it in. Okay, that's finished loading. So now we'll go to the play screen, and you can see the cello is loaded up. I'm not going to mess around with any of the actual sounds or the mix at the moment, but uh, it's a beautiful sound, and there it is. Now, as we've loaded the key switch version, if you go to articulations here, you can see all the different articulations are all ready to be activated or deactivated, etc. Along with the performances over here, which you've got your portamento, um, legato, which is for a cello solo, would be probably the favourite. Previously, what we had to do, let's go back to the um, main screen. So previously, what we had to do was um, write these key commands which are written here into the actual performance that we make. So there's a much easier way to do it now. So I'm just going to quickly record a little bit of MIDI. Let's make sure the click's off and I'm just going to play it on my little keyboard down here. So, so let's just record something. Okay, so that all sounded probably a little bit odd and, you know, as, as you are probably a composer yourself, you understand that sometimes you're playing things in and you have a vision in your head of how you want it to sound, so it's not going to sound exactly like the finished result. This is a great example of that. So let's open that up in the key editor. In fact, let's zoom in again and we should be able to see now, yeah. I'll put, I'll put Opus down here somewhere. It doesn't matter. We don't need to really see Opus at the moment. It's just all about the key editor. So there's what I just played in. So the, the idea here is these were going to be uh, sustained notes, uh, three pieces. These were going to be legato and these were going to be marcato and then back to sustain again. Let's just zoom in a little bit on that. So normally you would have to draw your key, um, key commands or key switches, should I say, down at the bottom here. So here's what happens now. What you basically have to do is make sure that you have the left part of the key editor open like so. You, you can use a key command for that but I'm doing this with mouse just to demonstrate. And then we open up the expression map tab, we scroll down, import key switches and as you can see it's happened instantly. There was no need to do any messing around because it knows that it's linked to Opus. Um, what I like to do here would be to just rename that and then you could save it. So that's it. It's all set up and ready. We've got the standard expressions here already imported and now all we have to do is show those on the key editor. So now all we have to do is actually show that um, in the lines underneath which we do by 
clicking articulations and dynamics and there you can see them let's zoom back in again and there are all the different articulations that would normally be key commands and the dynamics as well so okay I want this first few notes here to be just normal sustain so we grab the pencil tool and we write a sustain in so let's make sure that's worked okay simple as that that's actually how it was anyway so I want these next parts to be legato slur so let's click there and you can see that that has immediately changed them over to legato slurs probably needed to change a little bit earlier and then the last part here obviously won't work as legato because they're two notes so we want to go to let's say spiccato or marcato either really just for the sake of this demonstration and back to sustain again and that's basically it and the other side of this as well is of course you can see opus will also reflect your changes Yeah, so there you go. That's how to use the new import of articulations feature in the new East West Opus 1.03. Nice and simple, and I hope you found this helpful. See you again next time. Cheers.